No, I really wanted you to walk me through walking to the floor. All right. So with your face left. Okay, we're, what we're going to do is rehearse movements, but we're not going to do the full count. So you're going to make sure that you know how to do the movements properly. So you, you already did pulling the left knee in to cause your right hip to, or your right butt to lift. Right. Okay. So while doing that, lift your head. Feel your back contract on the left. Don't turn your head. Keep your head turned where it was. Right. <laughs> no, left. Start again. Your working position is face left. Right. Okay, so now cause your butt to hike up by pulling the left knee. Right. Now lift your head and feel your back tighten. Okay. Okay, you, you did something. You, that's it. Keep the turn of your head left. Okay. Okay, now do you feel your back? Yeah. And you feel the groin and pelvis? Yeah. Can you feel how they're connecting by combining those movements? Yeah. Okay, so from there, rest. So you just got clear on how to combine those moves and connect the groin to the back. Yep. Yeah. Next action is push the knee down, butt comes up, the right leg straight, tighten the front of the thigh and the back of the calf, so you're pointing your foot. On the right leg? On the right. Tighten the thigh and point the foot. Yeah, and tighten the right buttock. Okay. Now you feel those two movements, left and right? Yeah. And keep your head turned. Don't go face forward. Stay turned. Okay. 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 So notice how the two leg movements help each other. Yeah. Now lift your head. Feel your back tighten. And connect that to your left side. Am I pushing the right leg long? Yes. You're combining movements. So am I um, contracting the left at the waist? Yes. Oh. Okay. All right. Say when ready. I'm ready. Left knee push down. Right leg straight and reach. Head lift. And connect your back to what's happening on the left side, the groin and pelvis. Keep that. Relax the right leg. Just let go of it. Soft, slowly relax the right leg. Keep the other actions in place. Oh, it hurts all this. Well, next time use less effort. Okay, now slowly melt all other efforts. And say when. I'm ready. Left knee. Right leg straight and reach. Head lift. Connect the back of the left, left back to left groin. Relax the right leg. Relax the other efforts. I'm feeling it so much on the right side. What? I'm feeling a lot of ache on the right side. Okay. Par for the course. Your right side will have a turn later. Um, I thought I was supposed to feel my left side. Mm, yeah. Okay. Make sure you feel your left side, even if the right side Thanks. creates sensations. Okay, left knee, right leg straight. Now press the left foot down equal to the left knee. Head lift. Connect the low back to the left groin. Right leg relaxes. And the rest relaxes. So when the right leg relaxes, I'm still pressing the left knee and foot. Yeah, the only thing you relax is the right leg action. So the relaxing is... 
instead of pushing it long, it comes back in. It happens, yeah, to some extent. Okay. Okay, so left knee, right leg straight and reach, left foot down, foot and knee equal effort. By pressing the left, help the right leg to lift. Right foot up, left leg down. Equalize those two actions so they help each other. Now the head lift. Connect the left back to the left groin. Now relax the right leg. And relax the rest. Me? Yeah. Now turn your face right. We'll do the other side, do the right side. Say when ready. Press the knee and find the working position. Head lift. Connect right low back to the right groin. And melt down. Okay, good. Right knee push. Right butt comes up. Left leg straight, tight thigh, tight calf, point the toes. Head lift. Connect the right low back to the right groin. Left leg relax. Relax the rest. Right knee push. Left leg straight and reach. Right knee and foot push down equally. Head lift. Low back and right groin. Connect. Left leg relax. And relax the rest. Right knee, left leg, right foot. By pressing knee and foot, help the left leg lift. Head up, connect right low back to right groin. Slowly, left leg relax. All the way till hollow. Relax the rest. All right, so now I'll teach you to do the switch. So right knee push, left leg reach, right foot push equal with the right knee, left leg up, head up. As you turn your head, switch legs. Exactly, turn your head and melt down. Now we'll do it again when you're ready. I Left knee. I only, hmm? I only feel sensations on the right side. Hmm? No, that's all right. Whatever, it, it doesn't even matter. The only thing that matters is if it hurt and cringe occurred. Okay. All the rest of that stuff is a second importance because by doing this movement, the two sides become more and more equalized. Okay. Okay. So left knee, cause the butt to lift, right leg straight and reach, left foot down, right leg up, head lift, together turn your head and switch legs, and melt down. So that's how the switch is done. Okay. Now, the SOAS program has, as I recall, a couple of ending movements. 
and the ending movements have to do with not the outer lateral surface, but the inner, that is the inner lines of the thighs, and also the movement similar to walking. Mm -hmm. And my guess is that you will want to go over that. If you don't feel the need, we won't. But if you do, we will. So I should probably do that. All right, then. So go onto your front, lie down. This way. Facing left. And the oddity of this move is that you're pushing the knee opposite to the direction you're facing. Most of the moves, you're pushing the knee on the side you are facing. Okay, so you push the right knee down and you squeeze your thighs together. So, um, you mean bring them together like... Just intend your legs toward each other so your inner thighs are working. Oh, just intend it so they stay still separated. And then, well, yeah, they will likely stay separated. You just want to activate the movement. Got it. Okay. Yep. So right knee push, mm -hmm. the legs squeeze, right. your head comes up, you turn to the other side, and as you come down, you switch which leg is pushing down. They're still squeezing. Good. Now the left knee pushes down, the legs squeeze, your head lifts. You turn to the other side, and you come down. And as you push the knee down, you also press your head down so you feel your neck tighten. You connect that neck sensation to the groin sensation. It's still my left leg, right, pressing? Or I switched the knees? It's still the left leg you're pushing. Okay. Okay. And then having done that, you relax. This is an odd little move because you're combining not just forward and back movements, but side to side mm -hmm. movement. Okay. And pressing your head down. And what you'll notice, do this now, you um, press your right knee. Squeeze your thighs together. Your head lift. And you slowly turn right. Down, press your head and the right knee. You'll notice that the sensation goes through your front. Okay, and you relax. So I, I've walked you through the essential sensations of this move. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the final move: cup your hands under your forehead. <clears throat> Push your right knee down, reach the left leg. When I push the knee down, do I automatically lift the butt every time I do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're pushing your knee down enough, your butt automatically lifts. Okay. Okay. And now switch which leg is pushing down and which leg is reaching. Oh. And now switch again. It's kind of a wiggle wumpus move. Yeah. And it's somewhat similar to walking in a certain way. Yeah. So that's how that move goes. I think I probably need that one. It's very achy. Yeah. Yeah. These moves are, they cover a lot of bases. They cover a lot of bases. All right. That's good. So there we are. Have we got you all Settled. I'm all settled. I do the lead. That's it. I'm going to try it. See how it goes. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> all right, then. All right, great. Thank you. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.